is Charuda and welcome back to my channel MBH Capsule Talks. So today we will discuss about the concepts in epidemiology. What is epidemiology? According to John and Lars, epidemiology is a study of the distribution and determinants of health related states or events in a specified population and application of this study to the control of health problems. So, it's a study of the distribution. Distribution explains the frequency and pattern of health events in a population. Distribution of health events are mainly explained by the time, place and personal characteristics. First is the time distribution of disease which include the short term fluctuation example epidemic. Then the periodic fluctuation example measles. Measles is in the highest during the spring season. Then the long term or secular trend example diabetes, lung cancer etc which has a progressive increase or decrease with time. Second is the place characteristics which include the geographic variation, urban rural differences, locations of schools, work sites etc. Third is the personal characteristics which include demographic factors such as age, sex etc. This characterization of distribution of health related states or events is best depicted in the descriptive epidemiology. Descriptive epidemiology provides the what, who, when and where of health related events. The next word in this definition is determinants. Epidemiology is also used to search for causes and other factors that influence the occurrence of health related events. Analytical epidemiology attempts to provide the why and how of events. Next we will talk about the types of epidemiological studies. They are mainly of two types. First is a non-experimental or observational and second is experimental or intervention studies. Under non-experimental studies we have the descriptive and analytical study. The descriptive study explains about the occurrence and distribution of a disease, whereas analytical study under which we have the cross-section study or the prevalence study, the case control study and cohort study. Then in the experimental study we have RCT or the clinical trial, field trial and community trial. We will discuss each type in separate lectures. So that's all for today. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more MBH talks. See you guys with a new video. Till then, bye bye.